so it has been a rough morning for both me and Kehlani. Kehlani's been crying all morning. She's been crying since maybe like five something this morning. And I figured out earlier that it's because her ear hurts. She pointed to one of the ears and she said it hurts. And Kehlani's known to have ear infections. So I put um, so I asked her which ear hurts, and she pointed to one in specific, and I said the other one hurt it, and she said no. So I know that this may be an ear infection, because she's known to get ear infections. So the last time she had one was October, I think. It was around Halloween time, she was not feeling well. And her dad took her to the hospital, because I was at work. And she got some medicine, of the, like this kind of medicine. And once she said that her ear was hurting, I just immediately put a couple of drops of that in the ear that she said is hurting to try to catch anything before it gets worse because um, in the past she's had plenty of ear infections and it's the worst thing I was like, mother will be going through it. And right now she's going through it because she's trying to lay down. She keeps telling me she wants to lay down and even though she is laying down, she's not comfortable. And I know y'all can relate to when you're not, when you're having pain, you kind of just keep moving and tossing so that's the that's what she's doing right now because she has been hurting guys and hopefully this medicine works really fast and effective because i already gave her some you okay baby so who's she going right now you okay baby Yeah, so that's the mood she's in right now, and hopefully she gets better because I don't like when they're sick. Um, I never had to deal with much sickness from any of my kids. Kelani is probably the um, Kelani is the kid that always gets sick for us, and like it's stressful because when your kid is in pain, you don't want them to be in pain and you know normally you would try to do everything you can to keep your kids out of pain and then when you don't know what to do and you can't help it it just stresses you out so i'm just hoping that by the middle of the day or so i don't know how air infections work um as far as if you put the drops in because normally she have leakage in her ear when, when if she does have an ear infection and when she the ear she told me that was hurting i did look at it and it was moist but it, no, there was no leakage or anything so i put the stuff in to try to prevent the leakage and the infection from spreading As a matter of fact i think they gave me um antibiotics that i still have in the fridge too and i normally am not the type of parent to give my kids medicine because i'm not the type of person that takes medicine i just don't believe in stuff like that i believe in natural healers and that's mostly what i always do i have an 11 year old daughter and that's all that's always what i've done with her anytime she got sick i always took the most natural route because I feel like a cold or something, it has to pass through, it has to stay in your body for at least 24 hours and it should pass. And then when I notice that people give their kids medicines, their kids are sick longer, their nose is always running and it sounds really bad. But for my kids or myself, I'm known like if I get sick, you know for a fact that you're gonna be sick for 24 hours. And then you start to get better the next day when you drink your fluids and, um, eat some soup and stuff like that and um most time when you're sick anyway you don't really want to eat anything but if they want to eat something you give them crackers or something but <clears throat> i'm not really a medicine person unless it's like something out of my control like an ear infection then i will stick to this stuff right here because i personally did try to heal my daughter from an ear infection um the last time she had one i would try to clean it every day um and pour like peroxide in her ear and make sure that it stayed clean and i don't know if it just spread it too bad to where she just really needed to you know well i know she needed the antibiotics because they gave so yeah that's where i'm at right now i'm just hoping that she feels better and <clears throat> i'm doing laundry right now so that's probably what you hear my washer in the background juju's watching google colors on his phone i know it's kind of bright um, I'm facing the sun to try to give you guys the best sunlight that you can look at. Um, I haven't gotten dressed for the day yet because I've been dealing with Kalani. Yes. 
Okay. But she wants some juice. Um, she didn't really want anything to eat. I got up and made them breakfast earlier. She didn't touch her food. She attempted to go to it, but then she wanted to lay back down. So I just let her lay back down. She's been drinking water all day. And right now she's asking for juice. So I'm gonna let her have a little bit of juice to give her some energy. Cause I know for me, if I don't have any, um, <clears throat> like anything in my body, I can feel nauseous and um, sick. So I'm gonna let her have some juice. Don't do that. Y'all be nice. She 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 messed up my maid. Now now that's not her fault. No way. I don't even know the song. No. <laughs> do you know that? Yeah. I don't even know that. Mom, you don't know the song? No. Maya. What is it? It's the uh uh old town road. Juju, you made that? Yes, I mean, I'm making. I have. Oh, so you're gonna purposely mess up his maid. Oh. <laughs> I got it. You're doing that. He made you're doing it again. Wow. Juju, that's why you're Trevor and Kalani Twinkling and I'm Michael. No. <laughs> Jew, for real? Jew, tell her you're sorry. Tell her you're sorry. Jew. <laughs> now, do y'all see what I go through? This is what I go through. This is what I go through. Jew, stop before you pull my wig off. <laughs> Looking at something on your phone. Oh. Okay. Hello, guys. <laughs> How old are you? Okay. I'm sorry. I'm Good job. Are you, what, is your birthday coming? Mm-hmm. When is your birthday? Yay. Good job. So we caught the carnival and it's a dollar on Tuesday. <laughs> and you know what that means, it's packed. And when I say pack, it's packed. <laughs> so everybody is up here right now. And the kids is happy. It's so Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wait, wait, Lonnie. Wait in the what? Oh no, I was telling her. Oh. So that's the corner. That's how packed it is. Wait, wait, Lonnie. Wait, please. Wait, do we gotta get tickets or something? Oh, well, let's go right there. 
this way. This is weird. Come on, guys. Look. Lonnie, look at this one. 